Um, my Super Star panel return now, former Education Minister Dame Andrea Jenkins, the journalist and broadcaster Benjamin Butterworth, and the former Brexit Party MEP Belinda De Lucy. Now, in the latest chilling attack on women, 77 NHS trusts have signed up to the uber-woke rainbow badge scheme, which demands they stop using the terms mother and woman. Instead, medics are told to refer to maternity patients as clients, as well as asking their pronouns before giving treatment. While one of the trusts that signed up said they are committed to providing a welcoming, inclusive environment for all, a source close to the health secretary, Steve Barclay, blasted the campaign, saying any scheme which does not recognise the role of women and biological sex in the NHS raises serious questions. The health secretary has been very clear that women should be called women. So... What's going on with all of this stuff, Belinda? Well, it's a cult, isn't it? And they're not going to stop until they've completely erased women as a sex group, completely erased all our protections, all our rights. They will not stop. And a reflection of how fragile and ridiculous their ideology is is because they need to force it onto people through threat of punishment, which is exactly what these trans activists who have more in common with the Taliban than everyday ordinary Brits. They want women to submit, they want women to be silent, women not to speak, and they want men to be able to dictate to a woman what a woman is. You know, this ideology is so harmful and it's now infiltrating our NHS. They're supposed to be looking after patients. They can be welcoming to all. They can keep single sex spaces. And I'm a mother, Dan, right? I, many women, their womanhood, well, all all women, their womanhood is inextricably linked to their female biology. I've given birth to four babies. One baby was stillborn at term. We go through all sorts of horrific things in hospitals as women because of our female biology. And they want to degrade and dehumanize us by calling us robotic names just to appease a few, a few men who want validation. I don't get it. I think it's criminal, harmful, and I don't know why it's been allowed to infect our public sector. Really passionate stuff, Belinda. Uh... Benjamin, you say that the NHS is not obsessed with gender ideology. No, I mean, what this is, is first of all, I mean, uh, Belinda couldn't have undermined her argument any better than I can when she compares transgender people or those who care about them to murderers and I, terrorists. I don't say trans activists. Obviously, Will you stop? Obviously, an incredibly Mis offensive Miss saying thing. what I said. I said trans activists, Which obviously not going to be, trans people. Obviously, that's going to involve no, a lot of trans people. No, and they don't, people, they don't reflect it. the trans community because they've hijacked it with their people, extremism. You just compared trans people to men who no, I've behead said women trans activists and, and listed the similarities. Well, they want to silence us and they want us to know our place. I think you've I'm sorry, it's a mis it's movement, movement, I mean, and you, you know it. I mean, you just compared people like me to the Taliban, didn't you? Well, are you a trans activist? You want women to give up their single safe sex I'm spaces and to dictate to me what a woman is? I'm happy you to call a trans that? activist and you just compared me to the Taliban. No, I'm saying they Did have a similar, the similar. I absolutely stand by that. Well, what a fool I'm you saying are. the view of women that the Taliban have, that they must be silenced and okay. accept dictates but, from men. Okay, that's you think that's okay like to compare me to the Taliban? No, I said well, no, no, no. Are you? I, 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 think, I don't think Belinda was directly so literally exactly what you she said. To the Play the Taliban, tape back. Bitch. I mean, it's embarrassing for you. I'm no, really the not truth is that this is a this discussion is a for the fact. topic on both sides. Well, right? I'm not going to compare Belinda to the Taliban. Call me polite. Oh, well, you've called me much worse, Benjamin, on this show, and I'd put up with it. You're very rude, actually, Belinda. But the truth is that this you is a two, distraction. You've been apart for he's six weeks. Me, have you not all, missed Dan, each other? He's missed me, I'm, not, I'm not aware I missed you, but it's but always the truth this topic, is isn't that it? more than seven million people are on waiting yeah. lists. Yeah. So the idea that the problem with the NHS is some small pin badges, or the idea that in the very unusual circumstance where you have a transgender person who's able to give birth that yeah. doesn't identify as a woman, that they but should is, be is anyone else. saying that, that this is just the main compassion. issue with? The NHS. I, I don't think we're saying this. Is I think the that's issue exactly what you're trying to do because that's why you obsess over the over this because you know the Tories are failing on it. And the fact is that, of course, I don't think that a woman who gives birth shouldn't be called a woman or a mother. And these policies <coughs> never say that. What they say is that in the instance that you had a transgender person affected by that, that they Look shouldn't the be called a mother. Let Dame Andrew come in. No, I mean they've the changed the literature to call things chest feeding. I mean, I'm, I'm a mum. I'm a proud to be. A mum. I'm not a feminist. I'm a meritocrat, um, but I'm proud to be a mum. I, I, I breastfed my child, and we should we should not insult women or or actually insult the fact that we've got two biological genders. That's the fact, mm -hmm. and, and we, we should not um, be silencing people. It's wrong, Benjamin. I mean, I think it's quite evident that they're not silenced. This idea oh, they are. that they're there is some trans of cabal going against it out of cans be, 
the cancel culture. It's if you're in the NHS and you say, no, I don't agree with this, I don't adhere to gender ideology, should be you're at risk of losing your job. should be focusing on patient care, not on yeah. ideology. Ideology but should be just but not... But Benjamin, can I, ask, can I ask you a serious question, though, because... It would be a change, but please do. <laughs> even you must admit that a lot of folk have been cancelled. No, I don't. For questioning this ideology. Graham Linehan, J.K. Rowling. No. I would list a whole load. I mean, <laughs> Graham Linehan, a man that I'd never heard of until he started talking about these things. J.K. Rowling, a bill a, an author worth a billion dollars. The idea they've been cancelled is farcical. Meanwhile, real trans people who are trying to get around in life face incredible levels of abuse from their family, from their workplaces, in the streets, if they don't pass as the gender they identify as. Those are the people who are cancelled cancelled in their lives. And the idea that they are controlling all these MPs and newspaper columnists and TV presenters is a joke. Okay. Okay. Passionate stuff. But look, moving on, I've 